Good morning everyone, it's Mel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Guys, this is how cold it is <laughs> before we get to book fair. So I've got a line up here now. I am at a book fair. It is about to start in about 30 minutes. So I've been waiting in the car just because it is so cold, but I can see there's getting a gathering of a, a bit of a lineup now. So I think I'm gonna go and jump in the queue. I just thought I'd show you while I'm here in the car before I go into a book fair, what I'm doing, what I'm prepping for. So let me turn this camera around. Okay, so I've got my shopping cart here, but I've also got a couple of IKEA bags here and I've also got a blanket. Now the reason is sometimes you go into a book fair and it's not very busy and I can fill up a car lo uh, like a cart load and then I might bring it back to the car and I've always got bags here in the car so then I will start filling my car. However, if the book fair is really busy, if there is a lot of resellers in there and if it looks like I don't want to miss out, then what I might do is also find a corner if my cart gets full and I might stack up some bags full of books and I might put a blanket over the top of it. So I always kind of come prepared because you never know which one it's going to be, whether or not I'm just going to use the cart or the bags or do loads back to the car, I don't know. <laughs> I never know until I'm in there. Now the other thing that we always need when we go into a book fair is a gold coin. <laughs> they always have a gold coin donation when you first walk in. So I normally am the bad one and forget my coins. So Tom's always got like a big stash of them, but I've actually got coins. So look at this smoke. <sighs> Can you see? It's freezing. Hi, how are you? Good. <laughs> I'll see you in there. I'll see you in there in a minute. <laughs> there you go. As one of the regular volunteers who just recognized me. <laughs> He's normally taking my money, that guy. <laughs> He's always there. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna go down there, get into this line of people. And when I go into the book fair, it normally moves pretty fast. I'll put the camera on so that we can go in there. But the first thing when we go into a book fair is we're always looking to go straight to the non-fiction books. <laughs> Normally at the book fairs like this, the fiction books will be priced anywhere between three and five dollars, which is kind of kind of expensive for a, um, a fiction book that's only gonna be low end. So I'm gonna go in straight away and, oh, oh, I thought the line was moving, but it's not. But what I'll do is I'll go in there and I'll start, there's no real specific spot that I, particularly want to go to every single book fair is set up a little bit differently and it's just a matter of getting in there and um, going amongst the crowd and trying to find a place in in part of that area but it's the non-fiction parts that I'll always go to first so this is a regular book fair that they have every year at the same time at this location it's not a huge book fair it's the size of a basketball stadium and that's about it but this is over here I'll just show you over here So over in this tent, they always have set up outside the, um, the book fairs. This is where they collect any donations. So as people are coming into the book fair, they can also donate their, their, their old books. And what they do is they start sorting them here. They don't put them out into the book fair. They actually start sorting them into, into boxes. And then they have a truck there and they actually fill them up and they take them away. And these go towards the next book fairs. So you can see here's the line. These are the people who are really keen. And a lot of these people are collectors who get here early in the morning. They're not always just resellers. So you will get that mixture. You can see the ones normally that will have the trolleys and stuff, they'll be the resellers. But there's also a lot of collectors that come in here and they go to very specific areas of the book for it, ready to go. You can see the line goes all the way down here. And these people who have been at the front have probably been waiting a few hours in the freezing cold. So that's that. So we'll head down here. Tom will be here soon. It's a big cart. Oh wow, it's right around here guys. We're really late. I'll have to tell Tom, he'll be like, what?
Where's your baby? I didn't bring it. You didn't bring your baby? Well, I didn't bring it because I thought we were going to be inside. <laughs> It'd be cold, though. Yeah, my hands. Mm. Oh, they go really purple. What? They go really purple, my hands. Maybe you should get some little mittens or I something. I think the video is shaking because my hands are shaking. <laughs> this is actually one of the biggest lines I've seen at a book fair in ages. This line's always like this here. I must come in a bit later normally. Oh. I mean, realistically, it's going to make, what, maximum five minutes to get through? Mm. Yeah, it'll move fast as soon as it starts moving. So, for this I one, think. I don't care for ex exhibition park, I do. Yeah. I don't go to early. Yeah. Why are you shaking that? Um, like, can you see the, ca the camera? <laughs> like, that's, uh, that's how cold it is, I'm shaking. <laughs> I'm good, how are you? Thank you. Hi. 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 How are you? Hello. Good, how are you? Thank you. This one looks nice. It's a Barnes and Noble. Oh, that one looks beautiful. Oh, I really like it. That one's going straight in. Oh, these? Oh, some of them. Some of, just because they're old doesn't mean they're worth. Oh, nah. Nah. Yeah, you've made my day today. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's good to see you. Here you yeah. go. You want to be in the. Oh, oh God, no. <laughs> just leave the oh, no. That's so very good. good. To it's nice to I see some. I thought I might see you here because I thought last time you did one from the fair. Yeah. I thought always been. Sometimes, like I film, and sometimes they never even go out because sometimes they're hard to make book fair videos because yeah. I'm actually working <laughs> right, right. and I get distracted and then I get to the end and I go, what, I, I've got no footage. Yeah, <laughs> well, nothing that makes sense anyway, yeah. so we'll see. <laughs> see ya. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go to the bulk lot to see if I can put this trolley down. You see lovely Brenda. Brenda, can I get a table, please? Am I, can I, which one would you like me to have? I didn't think I'd fill the trolley up so fast. I was queer, what, it's been about 15 minutes. I've already got a full trolley. <laughs> I know, I was like, like I, need to, I need to like put these down so I can fill the trolley again. 
How's it been? Has it been pretty good? Yeah. yeah. It's been busy. It's cold out at the warehouses working. Oh, wow. But it's freezing. Melbourne can get pretty cold. Oh, it's freezing. Ice, like ice in the big concrete box in the mornings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me go back. Okay. Hi, Sarah. Hi. 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 Give me your cuddle. Oh, you got coffee. It's bloody cold waiting out there. Do you want a coffee? No, 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 I'm all good. I've just given Brenda a table and I've. Do you want me to bring you one? No, no, no. Can bring you like an <laughs> No, thank you. I'll get one afterwards. Right. I'll go fill another trolley no, load. Now we're back here. Did you just come for the day? Yes. Okay. Right here. <laughs> Not here for the whole three days? Let's go try and find trolley number three. Okay, what do we got? Hi! <laughs> we meet again, you've got a trolley. I just ordered another one actually for the end of financial year because mine's got a bit of a crack here and I'm just waiting for it's one so of these handy. book fairs. It's going to go. Yeah, yeah. I don't think what we put on them is what's supposed to be on them. Oh, mine gets packed yeah. up. So, yeah, this one is, Tom keeps saying, it's going to crack, it's going to break. Crack. So I ordered yeah. another one, but it hasn't arrived yet. So. Yeah, well, that's what I buy stuff before the end of my Oh, yeah, I've absolutely stocked up. Yeah, it's not bad. Somebody asked me how I deal with people looking at me and thinking it's greedy that I'm buying a lot, and I honestly don't worry about those people now. I know that I'm here to do a job, this is how I pay my bills, this is how I feed my children and I'm paying the same amount of money that any other person in this book fair is paying. I contribute tens of thousands of dollars a year to this charity and as you can see the staff welcome me because they know how much money I spend here. Side note, these books here that I'm currently comping on the video, I actually listed these this morning and they've already sold today, so that was a really quick sale. So 
okay, this is a really good book fair in that at the end of every aisle they put a tub. So people, when they don't like it, they put it back in the end of the tub and then they put them away. I've got four books that I was after, and um, otherwise everything else I'm looking for is n non-existent. Oh. The CDs are really, there's not many CDs there. Really? Yeah. But I've got some really nice books. I've spent a lot of money, I think. Oh, you need to spend a lot more. This I is mean. this is a good one. Darling, darling. Am I what? Have you got this one at home? No, no, I don't need that one. Oh, it's <laughs> very good. It's a good book, yeah. I'm trying to find the native one, the ACT, but it's not here. Yeah. It's a gift for a friend. Ah, I haven't seen the native. I haven't seen that one. Here's a couple of native. Oh, there's actually an ACT native. Yeah, one. yeah, I know the one you mean, but I haven't seen it. Selling yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do. No shame in the game. <laughs> Hi. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what was your name? Sam. Sam, nice to meet you. Are you local? Yeah. 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 Oh, wow, that's awesome. Thank you. There's quite a few people here actually today. Where'd you go? Okay, so this whole table is mine, and they've got piles of $100. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm up to $700 plus that, so I'm at about $800, which is a lot. <laughs> and I might have to slow it down in a minute. Okay, so this is the line. You can see it's going all the way down here, all the way to the end of the room, across, and then down to there. <laughs> And this is the benefits of doing bulk buy. You get a table and then you can just pay down at the bulk buy area and you don't have to go through the line. It's getting busy in here now, so I'm really glad we came in first thing when it opened. So I probably price comp about 50% of the books when I'm at a book fair. I've got no shame in pulling out my phone and price comping with people looking at me. I'm here to do a job and I'm here to work. You'll notice there's lots of boxes underneath the tables and those boxes are there for the volunteers to pull out and restock the tables as they get empty. This book sold for four hundred and fifteen dollars. This might be my find of the day, guys. Four hundred and fifteen dollars. <laughs> what? There's no other ones. It's like that one says rare limited edition. Radio. I'll be taking that one. I'm going to put that one down the bottom. Make sure no one pinches it. I can't believe that's been here all this time and nobody's got it. I'm going to tell Tom. Tom, I just got the find. You I just right? got the find of the day. Right, Sold comps, $415. Mm -hmm. What was it? Ch -ch. 
Oh, okay. It's like some Land Rover rare limited oh, cool. edition book. Oh, we're going to be happy with that. Yes. You're just the whole place, are you now? Oh, that's all right. I am done now, but I've got a few more here and I'm done. Are you sure? Yeah. There's still more left. No, I'm done. Careful lifting that, Brenda. Uh, okay. They're too heavy for you like that. I'm talking about she's probably stronger than the two of us she put together. She just turned 80 and she's lifting this. Last time right. she told me she just turned 80 and she's lifting this massive box. Go keep going. Oh stop. my goodness. This, that'll be us, Tom. Have you finished? I've finished now. I've just got to finish. You've finished? I've finished. Okay, yep. so how are they, how are you transporting them? That's a good question, Mel. How are you transporting? Well, like, I might just have to do a few cartloads out to the car. But with, a, with a trolley or what? Yeah, with this trolley. With that trolley? I can do a few loads okay, or... Okay, because I'm going to run out of room here. Oh, yeah. Well, this is it now. So I'm going to pay and then I'll start taking them out and you can have your table back. Yeah, I'll have my table before I can add up. Oh, okay. So... I think he's added up already. Yeah, they're all added. Yeah, I know. I've already done those. Oh, right, okay. Right, so that's why I'm hoping that we'll be Oh, able to okay. Rightio. This, this trolley load's not too full. I get it. Some of them are heavy, aren't they? Oh. Their cooking books are very heavy. I could lift it off them. Oh, look at this cool one. Yeah, it's pretty cool. What we might do is, um, once you pay, yep. if you move your car up, and then yep. I can give you a hand bring them out. Yep, sure. So, you want me to start packing them yes, in here? Please. Yep, sure. Um, oh, it doesn't matter where from. Okay. Right Are you just checking yours, Tom? Yeah. Who's this person? They've bought... This person's bought a lot, haven't they? Righto, let's pay and then I'll start doing the car loads. Is that what you want? Or yes, yep, please. okay. Thank you so much. Okay, so which way? I just go out here and anyways, then just come in. Okay. Yep. Right, I'll be back, Tom. Right, oh, it's a beautiful day out here now. So no line up to get in anymore. Did you move your car closer, Bill? No, but my car's not that far. I don't think I could get it much closer than what it is. Okay. Trolley number two. Thank you so much. You can have your table back now. Thank you. Bye, Sue. I'll see you on Sunday. Oh, yeah, September. See ya. So if it's a local book fair, I do come down and shop every single day. But if we're traveling interstate, then we will only go on the first day of the book fair. The first day is where you get all the best books. And that is the day that you really want to be going. How's it going? Get in there. No, not today. Not today. Oh, she's 
<laughs> I've spent a lot of money. <laughs> I'm done. I'm yeah. Done. Yeah. This is, well, I've just filled the car. Oh. Yeah, this is about the fourth trolley load oh. out to the car. So <laughs> I'm, I'm done for today. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> See ya. The van's full. The truck, look how many donations they've already received this morning. How cool is that? All getting ready for the next book fair. I love the people come and bring their books and then go shop for more. Oh wow, okay, so it's 12 o'clock. It's been over for three hours. Three hours of book fair is a lot of work. Like it's quite um, draining. I don't think people realize when you are a bookseller how Im like it's mentally draining. You're looking at the spines, you're trying to go fast, you're competing with a lot of resellers in there. And it, I don't think people realize how draining it can be sometimes. It's, um, it's just a mental load. You're looking at it and, and you're trying to work out mentally in your head, can I make enough profit on this or do I need to price comp this book? And there's some books that, you know, it's kind of like a go with my gut <laughs> feeling at a book fair because I'm kind of like, I'm just competing, I guess, with so many more people and, and you feel like you've kind of got to go a little bit faster. And I can see why the book fairs are really overwhelming for uh, new, new booksellers. They can be very overwhelming. And if you're a new bookseller, I would highly say you need to be price comping your books because some of the books at the book fairs, they do cost a little bit more. They are priced a little bit higher. They're up around that three, four, five, some of them are eight, ten dollars. So if you're going to invest that much into a book, you need to really make sure that you know, you're, you've got enough profit in that margins. For me, I can kind of pick up a book and sometimes without even opening it, like, oh no, that's a $50, $60 book. And it's most likely that that book is not going to be even priced over $10. So like I will pay $10 for a book that I can sell for 50 or 60 bucks. No, no worries. So I didn't even open those books up because I know that I'm going to be able to hit my metrics and make my minimum profit off those items due to experience. But if you're not experienced, uh, like you just have to be pricing at the book fair. So you know, go around. I, I what I, I don't know if you saw me in there, but basically I go in there and I do a, a fairly fast pick, like going as fast as I can off my eye by things that I know. And then I tend to go back around a couple of times and that's when I'll start price comping more. I'll start looking for those books that I'm not so familiar with. But on my first lap around, I'm always looking for books that is already up here in my Rolodex. Like it's books that I already know, books that I already recognize. And those books I can just pick fast and fast and I can go fairly quickly. It's laps two and three and four and five and six. <laughs> they get they start to get like harder and harder and it's just because there's less books by eye. There's still a lot of books in there by eye that I know will sell, but I also recognize those are not going to hit my metrics. I'm not going to make a $10 profit on them. Some of them will be priced 3 to $5. They're only going to sell for like $20. I'm not paying $5 for a book that I can only sell for $20. Not interested. So there is a lot of books in there that I know will sell. I just know that they're not going to hit my metrics. <laughs> so all in all, the book fairs are crazy <laughs> they're crazy but they're fun and but they are they're they're actually exhausting sometimes physically exhausting as well because you're up and down you're lifting all these bags of books like my boot uh the trunk for the americans my boot my trunk is full there the back seat is full here there's a lot of heavy books i've got a lot of coffee table books amongst this so it's then quite laborious to get them back to the warehouse this afternoon, unload them all and, um, you know, start prepping them to get ready for, for the photos. And also, you know, I can see that there's a few shelves worth of books there and I don't have a, a spare few shelves of books. <laughs> so I've got some work in my warehouse because I want this new stock. This is great quality stock. I want this new stock coming into my warehouse and, you know, getting listed as fast as possible so guys thank you for coming with me for the book fair um if there's questions i do go to book fairs regularly and sometimes i'm not it's hard to film in there because i'm working so i, I actually find it quite hard to source like as well as try and film stuff for you and i'm never really sure 
what what you can even hear over the audio or like how noisy it is sometimes they've got copyright music in there and it can be challenging for me to film inside a book fair so that is it i need a drink desperately i've got dry lips i need a pepsi or something and i'm starving i haven't had any breakfast so <laughs> that's it for today thanks guys Thank you.